Christian. Now I'm on IsraelNationalNews.com. This one says peace proposal as long as there will be no Israel. This was published on the September 28th and it's been updated at 543. Now it says one of the most significant events to come out of the Trump administration's dallies in the Middle East took place this past month without much more notation in passing by the press and one of the most substantive reports about the con about the contents and direction of the Trump administration's plan for Israeli Palestinian peace. Media reports indicated that the administration, although sometimes talking about the two state solution, has suggested to the Palestinian Arabs that they join a confederation arrangement with Jordan, presumably in Layu of Palestinian independence. What is more re remarkable than the apparent leak of the confederation idea from the Trump team's playbook was, report was the reported response from Mahmoud Abbas, the president of the Palestinian Authority who slipped a significant but sparsely noticed bit of information. This is not the first time that the peace proposals have been directed toward the Palestinian Arabs. While the most common, commonly cited offer might still be the one made by former Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Barak at the Camp David talks in 2000. There was also the 2008 offer by former Prime Minister Ehud Almar, the 1947 offer by the UN, the proposals made over the course of the Obamacare initiatives which have remained less publicized such as the proposal Barack Obama had presented to Abbas at the White House on March 17, 2014 and others. Time after time when the Palestinians received peace proposals, they responded by simply walking out, leaving the world to speculate about what had happened. Failed peace initiatives are always followed by press commentaries about topics like refugees, territorial contiguity, contiguity and the division of Jerusalem, land, land swaps and divergence from the green line that had been is that had been the Israeli-Jordanian border prior to the 1967 Six-Day War and other areas of contention. There are always those who say that a given proposal was simply not good enough or that the way it was presented <coughs> was insulting to the Palestinians. That Israel... Uh, let's see... Uh, and its American allies have pressured the Palestinian ways that were disrespectful or that the offers were just diversions devised to distract attention from the, domest the domestic troubles of outgoing and scandal-ridden Israeli or American leaders by who would not be able to follow through once they were out of office, which, way which always seemed to be an em imminently looming eventuality after a peace put after a peace push collapses commentators inevitably question whether one side or the other will ever really wanted it to succeed or whether mutual recognition and acceptance remains the real stumbling block to israeli palestinian peace this time Though there is no need to speculate, the Palestinian Arabs received a proposal and gave a clear reply. Though a Palestinian-Jordanian confederation is a significant step removed from the concept of the full Palestinian statehood that has dominated the Israeli-Palestinian discourse, Mahmoud Abbas indicated that he is fully prepared to bring the Palestinian Arabs into such a confederacy. Uh, and to accept as a final status arrangement so as long as one an, one other condition is met the condition is not the fate of the refugees the division of Jerusalem the return to the green line or any other off-sided areas of contention they they can in fact accept something less than full independence and they can agree to any other compromise that may come to the Trump administration proposal.
on condition that their close friends, the Israelis, will also be coming along joining the Confederation Party. In short, there does not need to be an independent Palestinian state, a capital in East Jerusalem, or an arrangement for Palestinian refugees as long as there will be no longer be an independent entity called the State of Israel.